Hello and welcome to another tutorial brought to you by ConciseTutorials.com. My name is Jason and this is our pre-algebra tutorial series and this is lesson two where we continue to look at whole numbers and most specifically at the base 10 number system. And so what is the base 10 number system? What's base 10 mean? It just means that our numbers are built upon groups of 10 based upon being put into groups of 10. And so let's kind of look at that. We've got 10 happy faces here that are all lined up. We haven't counted any of them yet, so we start with our first digit, which is 0, and say we ha haven't counted any. We've counted 0 for happy faces. When we start counting, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, as you remember from our previous tutorial, those are all of our digits, 0 through 9. That's all the digits that we have in our number system. And so to get to the next number, we have to add another digit and create a two-digit number. So now we've got 10 and so in front we have what's called the tens place and we have one in the tens place meaning that we've counted through a group of 10 one time and we've got a zero in the ones place meaning that after counting through 10 objects, a group of 10 objects one time there was no more to count. And so, but let's see what happens when there is more to count. So let's add another line of happy faces and start counting through those. So we've got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And so here, now what we have is we have a 2 in the tens place, meaning we have counted com completely through two groups of 10. And we have a 0 in the ones place, meaning that after counting through two groups of 10, there were no more to count. But let's see what happens when we count more. So let's shrink these down and add more rows of happy faces. And so you can see there are two group, our two rows we've already counted, our two groups of 10 we've already counted. And if we were to count through all the other happy faces all the way up to the very end but not counting the last one, then we would find that we had 99 happy faces. And so the 9, the 9 that's in the tens place represents these that we have counted through 9 groups or 9 rows of 10. So we've got, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, there are 9 groups or 9 rows of 10. And then the other 9 means that there we've counted an additional uh, 9 happy faces. And so uh, let's look at the last row. We've counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So yes, we have 99 happy faces. And if we count one more, we've got 100. And so what this represents, we've got a 1 in the hundreds place, meaning we've counted through an, an one group of 100 objects. We've got a zero in the tens place because we haven't counted any more rows of 10 beyond that 100. We've got a zero in the ones place because we haven't counted any additional happy faces beyond that group of 100. And so let's we'll see what happens if we s expand that even further and keep counting. So there's our group of red happy faces. I know they don't look like happy faces anymore because we're shrinking them down so far. But that's our group of 100 happy faces we've already counted. And if we counted through all the rest of these other happy faces all the way up to the end again, but not counting the very last one, we would have 999 happy faces. And so we've got a 9 in the hundreds place, meaning that we have counted 9 complete groups of 100 happy faces. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, yeah, so we have 9 complete groups of 100 happy faces. There's a 9 in the tens place, meaning that in addition to that, we have counted 9 more groups or rows of 10 happy faces. So let's check that. Yeah, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 additional rows of 10 happy faces. And then we have a 9 in the ones place, meaning in addition to all of that, we have counted 9 more happy faces. And let's see, check that. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So indeed, we have 9 groups of 100 happy faces and an additional 9 rows of happy of 10 happy faces and an additional 9 happy faces added on top of all that. And when we, if we count the last one, we get 1,000. So this entire group of, is, is one large group of 1,000 happy faces that are broken down into groups of 100 happy faces. And there's 10 of those which are broken down into rows of 10 happy faces. And so in doing the math, we have 10 happy faces in each row times 10 rows of happy faces times 10 of those which gives us 1,000 
happy faces and that's how the math works and as you can see everything's about being grouped into larger and larger groups of 10 and that's why we refer to our number system as the base 10 number system and so that's lesson two base 10 number system coming up next is lesson three where we continue to explore the whole numbers and look at set notation thank you for visiting and watching this tutorial if you're watching it through YouTube please take the time to subscribe to our channel thank you